Hey Sunshines, it's Christy and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I am so glad you're here. So for today's video, I have a great big Dollar Tree. I don't even know if you can see the extent of all of the bags. I think not all of them are in the camera's lens, but I had some really, really good luck. So yesterday I woke up and I had a plan to be productive. And within 45 minutes of that, my day kind of exploded. I had a teenager that was, for lack of a better term, kind of a butthead. You guys know teenagers can be that way. We still love them. Um, I looked down at my wedding ring and one of the stones had fallen out. I was devastated. It was my uh, my mother-in-law's ring and then it's been my ring for 18 years. And then I sort of started having this pity party. You know how you do. And I thought I have to get out of the house. <laughs> so I thought, you know what? I'm gonna go to the Dollar Tree like 20 minutes away from my house. There's a Popeye's chicken because when you're in a bad mood, what's better than Popeye's chicken? And then I'll go over to the Dollar Tree because I can have retail therapy and spend like 20 bucks and be happy. <laughs> and you guys, I was not prepared for the things that I found. I found so many good things at the first Dollar Tree. They were putting a ton of their new product out that on the way home, I stopped at another Dollar Tree. They were putting out new merchandise. Then I went to a third one because I was having such good luck and they had new merchandise too. So FYI, there's gonna be some Christmas in this haul. I know some people are not ready for Christmas. However, please hear me that the lady at the register on one of the stores said, we're already having supply issues because um, I said, I can't believe I'm buying Christmas. And she said, if you don't get it, it's gonna be gone. So get you to the Dollar Tree within the next week because there's really, really good stuff. And um, if I wait until it's sold out and show you, then that's not cool because you're not able to get it. So I'm gonna show you what I found and I hope that's okay. If you're stopping by for the first time, my name is Christy and welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Please comment below where you're from so I can welcome you personally in the comments. If you like hauls, if you like unboxings, if you like fashion videos and everything in between, then I am your girl and I always do it with a positive spin. So you can come and exhale and kind of get away from the craziness of the world. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's go ahead and dive right in. Okay, so these are in no specific order. I didn't like divide them by store. But I found these little boxes. So I got two gingham ones. And then I got two with like a really cute printed motif. Got reindeer. It says Christmas. Look at this little penguin right there. Very, very cute. So I got two of these. And I always, with my brother... And his family, he's got two kids, a boy and a girl, and they're teenagers too. We pretty much just swap gift cards. <laughs> and that's just easier for everyone. Um, I have two teenagers, they have two teenagers, um, and teenagers usually just want money or gift cards. So I thought this would be a fun way to um, do a gift card. I could fill it with their favorite candy or maybe some like fuzzy socks. I was thinking about getting all the girls like UGG or Barefoot Dream socks or something, stick their money or their gift card in here. And then I would probably stick this down in a little Christmas basket, although I don't think you would have to. But I think it's just a really cute way to do a fun gift. But you wouldn't have to put a gift card in here. Like I said, lots of different things would fit in here. Such a cute box with a little twine y'all for a dollar and then I went ahead and just got the red I think they might have had green I can't remember now but I just like the red um for my brother and sister-in-law I thought I would do something fun for them with their gift cards too like I said maybe fuzzy socks for the girls and then I'll figure out something for the guys so that's perfect um the next thing I found y'all I got my car detailed a couple of weeks ago and I have been like so adamant about keeping it clean so i grabbed some of these little car wipes for the dashboard tends to get a little dusty for the steering wheel let's go down in my glove box then i saw this and i thought it was so cute i was thinking tear tray it says merry christmas they had another one with a snowman in it and i think it might have said season's greetings or something but it's just this little wood cutout got the little twine. I mean, for a dollar, I think this is done so well. And I love the little Christmas barn. Look, it's got the wreath. Isn't that cute? So I was thinking tear tray for that guy. Okay. The next one we'll reach behind here. Let's see what's in this one. I found, okay. I have never that I can think of 
ever bought dollar store candles before, but I saw these, they were putting them out in all the stores. All the stores had them and I thought they smelled so good. So I went, a, I went a little ham on them. They're these cute little boxed candles. Aren't they adorable? Let me put my glasses on so I can read them. I think this one's called Cup of Cheer. They have the cutest little names, yeah. And it's in a little glass container. This one's Cup of Cheer. Yeah. Yeah, it has a little bit of cinnamon in it. It smells so good. I think I actually got a couple of the Cup of Cheers. Yeah, I got another one here. Then they had one called Snow and Ice. Isn't this pretty? This one's kind of a grayish white. This one's more like, yeah, you're walking in a pine tree forest, like going to cut down your Christmas tree maybe, and it's all snowy. It's just crisp and pine and fresh. These are putting out the scent. So I don't know how the throw is gonna be for a dollar. I thought I would just try it. I thought in a guest bathroom or maybe my entryway, they might be fun. Okay, then I found the cookie swap one. Yeah, this smells like like maple pancakes or the best like sugar cookie. Yeah, this smells good. You know those loft house cookies with the frosting? That's kind of what it smells like. So I grabbed that one. If you're on a budget, I think these would make a great stocking stuffer too. This one is called uh, Cedar and Patchouli. This one does not have a, a big scent to it. I kept thinking it would. You get a little bit of cedar. You almost get men's cologne with this one, but I wanted to try it since I tried all the other ones. So this one's probably my least favorite, but I, like I said, I wanted to try it. Okay, and then we got, what is this one? Cranberry Sage. Kind of a pinky color. Again, on a tiered tray, or like I said, in a bathroom. This one is scented a little bit uh, more subtly too, but you do get that fruity cranberry scent. I don't really smell sage. This feels like it would be great for Thanksgiving. And then what's the last one? Oh, this one is kind of weird. This is called um, Cranberry and Carrots. <laughs> a carrot candle, but it smells really good. I almost just walked past it and I thought, you know what? I just want to know what it smells like. It smells so good. It smells like a fresh baked, like sweet potato casserole almost. It smells really good. So anyway, I went a little nuts. I think there's my, might be a few other candles because some of the stores were putting them out and I couldn't get to them because they were right there working. Um, but that store, I was able to grab them. Okay, the next thing I got, um, I got this at the register. Just a little first aid kit. I usually carry one of these in my glove box and my um, my kids, my husband, whoever, they have opened it up and gotten all the band-aids and all the stuff out of it. So I realized I just needed to replenish that. For a dollar, it looks like you get some like Q-tips, some bandages, some scissors. Oh, there's safety pins in here. There's all kinds. Oh, it says eight cotton swabs, one tweezer, one mini scissor, two adhesive bandages, one safety pin, four safety pins, so two different sizes of safety pins, and a multifunctional knife. Well, okay, then I didn't realize I had all that in it for a dollar. That's a pretty good deal. These were by the cash register when you check out. And then I got, these are my cat's favorite treats, the milk ones. They're real, real picky. They're spoiled little baby kitties. Um, and uh, I can get all three of them to eat the milk ones. Uh, one store only had one bag left, so I think that was the store that that came from. Um, then I saw this one, this little wooden sign. It just says Happy Holidays with the Red Truck. Isn't that cute? I do the red truck in my guest bathroom. We have shelves, and I got like a big red truck to go on the shelf and Christmas trees and stuff. So I thought this might be a little good um, shelf setter. Setter. And again, it's got the twine. I mean, for a dollar, you cannot go wrong. But again, you could do that with a tiered tray. And it just looks like the little mason jar. Adorable, right? And then I got a pack of matches because I bought all those candles. <laughs> got to be prepared, right? Okay, the next thing that I grabbed, this is more like prepper items. I grabbed some toilet paper. Um, people laugh at me for getting toilet paper at the Dollar Tree, but this is like our emergency like stash. I'm starting to prep just a little bit, just a couple things a week I'm picking up as I'm hearing about supply shortages. 
um, I'm just picking up a few things. So in a pinch, this toilet paper is actually not bad at all. So I grabbed a pack of that. And then this is also going to go in our prepper um, pantry. It's ramen. Just chicken ramen. And I got two packs of these because who doesn't like ramen? I know not everybody does, but every once in a while, like if I don't feel good, I just want a pack of ramen and so do my teenagers. Okay, I ended up grabbing two things of plates. I'd already bought their Halloween plates and my husband used them when I was on my girls trip in Nashville. He was like, well, I didn't want to do dishes. So they had some left. I just thought these were really cute for the week of Halloween if we order pizza or something. And then they had these little um, sunflower ones. We don't use a lot of paper plates, but every once in a while, I, I had a cold, it, it lasted five days exactly. And then I was better again. Um, so I don't know if you consider that a cold, but you know, sometimes you just don't want to have to do dishes. And so these come in handy. I grabbed a thing of tissues. I actually grabbed two tissues for my son. He has allergies. And again, we all, I got the little cold and then, um, my son got the little cold and then my uh, daughter's here for fall break and she ended up getting the cold. So he's already, um, taken over one of the puffs and we like this brand just called simple solutions not too like soft, not too hard, doesn't have the lotion in it, just a good basic puff. Okay, now this thing I saw and I thought it was the cutest thing ever because even if you tried to recreate this, you could not recreate this for a dollar, I don't think. Look at this little jar. It's got the snow, it's got the little bottle, I hope that this is showing up, the little bottle brush tree, it's got some little red berries and a pine cone. Again, I was thinking tiered tray. So for my tiered trays, I usually have a formula, but I always end up with a lot of signs and not a lot of like stuff like this. And so I thought this would be cute to sprinkle on the tiered tray. Now they had these with different color trees. I think there was a silver one, maybe red, I can't remember. But I always thought that was adorable. There's a cork in the bottle and everything. I know there's a glare. I hope you guys can see that. It's so cute. And I think the tree must be anchored down because it, it pops back up whenever it moves. So there you go. Okay. Thinking about Christmas, I got some big white bows. Y'all, for a dollar, you cannot beat the big white bows. I also bought a red one. So if you're looking for big bows, I feel like white and red are the colors that go because obviously those are very Christmassy colors. And then I picked up two things. Usually I do like after Christmas shopping where I get bows and boxes and stuff. And I didn't last year. I'm not sure if I couldn't find them or if I just didn't go out. So you get three little size boxes for a dollar and then three like more shirt size boxes for a dollar. You know, sometimes you just need to wrap something it's not even a shirt but you're trying to disguise it so your teens don't know exactly what they're getting so i got two of those their christmas bags were so cute this year i got this one it just says merry christmas i like just the red and then look at this one it says let it snow with the snow globe with the truck. Is that not adorable? And it's got the poinsettia and the holly kind of on like a back, a backboard. What do you call that? Uh, I think Joanna Gaines does it. Why can't I think? Not beat board. Shiplap, shiplap. It's on like a shiplap backboard. Isn't that cute? I just think it's done so well. I can't believe this is a dollar. I feel like you go in the Hallmark store and this would be like $6.99. So I grabbed those two. I did grab some wrapping paper. So do I think the Dollar Tree wrapping paper is the best? I actually really don't. I'm kind of a gift wrapping snob. I worked at a department store. My grandmother did, my mom did, I did um, in high school um, during the holiday season. And so I like really nice, thick gift wrap, but I'm trying to use up what I have from last year. I just don't want to store it. And I thought a couple of these were really cute. I like just red and white Christmas wrap. This one says, do not open until Christmas. No peeking. This is a little short wrap and there's not a lot on here. So I was just thinking as I'm trying to finish up what I used last year, I probably will need a little bit of a fill in. And I just got this plain red and white. 
the snowflakes. You can kind of get my decorating style. And then, I can't believe I bought this. I'm so excited about it though. So let me just tell you, I love the movie Elf with Will Ferrell. I love it. Now my kids, they love to make fun of me because up until about four years ago, I thought a Norwal was like a mermaid or a unicorn. I didn't really think it was a real creature. I thought it was a fictional creature. <laughs> and um, my kids love to make fun of me and tell everybody, every time they see a Norwal, my mom didn't believe a Norwal was real. So anyway, in the movie Elf, there's a Norwal and he says, bye buddy, hope you find your dad. Well, Milo is our cat and I call him Buddy. So probably once a day, if I'm leaving the house or something, I, I always look at him and say, bye buddy, hope you find your dad. I don't know, it's so dumb. This wrapping paper has the Norwell and it has that quote on it. <laughs> so I'm gonna give it to my kids and just say, you all can wrap my presents in it because I just think it's so funny. <laughs> you gotta have one misfit wrap under the tree. So that's our misfit wrap this year. They actually had some really cute wrap, I have to say. Okay, I got a magic eraser, two of them, because we had used ours the other day. I was trying to get fingerprints off like light switches and things like that. So I grabbed two magic erasers. The Dollar Tree does have a brand of like magic eraser. I don't think it's as good as the real thing. It's not bad, but they fall apart a little faster than these do, so. Um, I picked up a thing of safety pins because I don't know where all of ours went, but I needed one the other day and we couldn't find one. So I grabbed those. How many do you get in here? A hundred safety pins for a dollar. We should be good to go for quite a while. Um, I have never, I don't know if I've ever noticed this before, but when I had that cold, I, three days in a row, I was in the bathtub for like two hours. I, I just didn't feel good. I didn't have like bad body aches, but I felt cold. There was a chill in the air. It went from like 86 to like 42, all in the course of like 12 hours. And I just wanted to be in the warm bath. And this is an aches and pains, cold and allergy relief bath. Soak, and it's got menthol, lemon, and Epsom salt. So that feels like it kind of would clear out your chest too. I thought I would just try it. It would be handy to have. I'm just actually gonna put this in the medicine bin. Um, so the next time somebody has a cold, they can use that. And then, I don't know about you, but sometimes when I get in the car with somebody, my teens or something, they're like, I don't remember if I put on deodorant. Two weeks ago when I went on a trip downtown Atlanta, I thought, did I put on deodorant? So I grabbed this little deodorant. We have like an emergency bag in my car just for whoever needs it. I felt like the Arm & Hammer might be the safest for men or women. So we grabbed that. Sometimes you just forget to put on your deodorant. I don't know. Uh, I picked up three things of their detergent pads for the dishwashing machine dishwasher why can i speak today i really like these you get 10 for a dollar and to me they work just as well as the finish or the cascade or anything like that okay now here's where i got real real excited i found y'all don't judge me for my my plates okay because these will be in december and i won't use them for a while but i got the santa claus plates you get 18 in a pack too that's amazing so i got two packs of santas when you're doing Christmas cookies and stuff, it's nice. I got two packs of snowmen. And then I got two packs of like uh, poinsettias. I was thinking like Christmas morning when you make like the, your breakfast casserole or whatever, these would be handy to just have out and be ready to go. I dropped something on the floor. Oh, hang on, hold on. This is important. <laughs> So I got a little container in one of my boxes, a little glass container from the Nested Fig. I think it was last month or the month before, and I grabbed some of the little Hershey's miniatures just to put in there, just to have some little Halloween candy around before we bought for the real trick-or-treaters. And um, I went to town on the Mr. Good Bar. I don't know why my whole life I haven't cared for them, and then all of a sudden I am gaga for Mr. Good Bar. So when I was checking out... <laughs> I had a Mr. Good Bar. So yesterday I got Popeye's chicken. I did retail therapy for like 30 bucks and I got chocolate. It turned out to be a pretty, good, a pretty good day. All right. I grabbed these. Uh, my daughter loves peppermint bark. So I grabbed her this. 
And then this one is by Andy's Candies. It's a peppermint bark by Andy's Candies. I can't remember if I've ever tried that before, but I felt like we needed it. That would be, these would be great, again, stocking stuffers. All right, and then this is just a big old pack of lentils. I make this smoky sausage lentil soup that I love. It's diabetes friendly for my husband. It's hearty, it's yummy. I chop up kielbasa and put in there. And this is a big bag of lentils. So lentil soup, there you go. There's two bags left, you guys, two bags left. I picked up, these are the best deal ever. The Snyders are of Hanover pretzels. Look how big they are. This isn't like a single single serve pack, and it it's pretty full all the way to the top. A dollar. So I ended up um, finding two of these. You can't always find these. They're out of them a lot of the time. That is a good deal for that. I grabbed some Alfredo pasta. Again, this is going to go in like our emergency like prep bin because this won't go bad. Um, I got another thing of the Temptations for the kitties. I got, I don't know if I've shared these before. I know I've showed them in a haul. These roasted almonds are so good. They're non-GMO. They're by Maddie Kay's. They're so good. I keep these in my purse at all times. So if anybody gets hangry, there you go. I don't know why, but I was craving Smarties. So I'll probably eat a few packs of these and then I will put them in the Halloween candy. We don't get many trick-or-treaters, so I will buy some more, but I just, I wanted a taste of Smarties. And then, because I got wrapping paper and bows, I grabbed some tape in preparation for Rapapalooza. <laughs> I did get one more pack of Scott. Uh, oh, this is so cute, you guys. Look at this sign. For a dollar, I cannot believe this. Look at this Christmas sign. I mean, it even has the, this is the garland, the beaded, you could take this off if you didn't like it, because it's just like wired, like a wired twine, but I think it adds so much. Isn't this cute? You could put this on a wreath. I feel like you could put this in a Christmas tree. I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but it's so cute for a dollar, isn't it? We love the red truck. You could get a cheap dollar store picture frame and deconstruct it and put the little backing on it. So it just makes it a, like, it sits like a picture frame sort of, if you just wanted to use this as decor, could do that. All right, I did buy, here's another one of the cookie swap candles. Look at these cute socks, you guys. You know the popcorn sweaters are so popular. They have like the popcorn socks. These do not look like they would be soft, but they're so soft. They have these in pink and purple too. But I loved some fuzzy socks. I got some laundry detergent. My son washes his hockey gear quite often and there's nothing worse than hockey gear. And um, so the cheap stuff is what I buy for him and he's just happy with it. So there we go, got that. Um, I found two books that I'm really excited about. One is called The Roots of the Olive Tree. Um, it says, meet the Keller family, five generations of firstborn women living together in the same house on a secluded olive grove in Sacramento, California. Um, Anna, the family matriarch, is 112 and determined to become the oldest person in the world. Strong in mind and firm in body, she rules Hill House, the family home she shares with her daughter, Betts, granddaughter Callie, great-granddaughter Deb, and great-great-granddaughter Erin. While the Keller women are bound by blood, living together has not always been easy, and it's about to become more complicated when Erin, the youngest, is back alone and pregnant after two years abroad with an opera company. There's a little bit more to the plot, but that sounded really good. And this one is called Faker. This one looks like it's kind of like a romantic comedy in a book. It says, Emmy is a professional faker. She has to be to survive as one of the few female employees at Nuts and Bolts, a power tool company staffed by predominantly gruff, burly men. I see like Doris Day in this role. Okay, that's just me. From nine to five, Monday through Friday, she's tough as nails and the complete opposite of her easygoing real self. One thing she doesn't have to fake, her disdain for coworker Tate Rasmussen. <laughs> Tate, I feel like this is like the Cary Grant uh, pillow talk kind of scenario. Um, 
Tay has been hostile to her since the day they met. Emmy's friendly greetings and repeated attempts to get to know him failed to garner anything more than scowls and terse one-word answers. Too bad she can't um, stop staring at his Thor-like <laughs> biceps. When Emmy and Tate are forced to work together on a charity construction project, things get heated. There's a little bit more to this plot too, but it looks real, real cute. So got that, and I think there's just two or three more things. Oh, look at this. This is wired light up LED ribbon. Do you see it? It came in silver, green, and red. It says 10 pieces, three feet. So it's not that long, but it's lighted ribbon. So I ended up getting two packs of this. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, but I just thought the idea of it was so cool. So light up LED ribbon. And then I got another LED. Look, you guys, this is the little Christmas trucks. Isn't that cute? It's a little light up string. Now they had elves. If you like gnomes, they're not elves, they're gnomes. I don't know if there's a difference, but anyway, um, they had ones with gnomes. They had several different um, little string lights, but I went gaga for the little red truck. I have a spot behind my tiered tray that I always hang a sign up. So I was thinking this would hang behind the tiered tray on the wall. And then maybe I would do a whole like red truck themed tiered tray. I don't know. That's what I'm thinking. So that was my Dollar Tree. I had fun yesterday. <laughs> if you have time, like I said, get you to the Dollar Tree because they were stocking up yesterday. I find the best times to go to the Dollar Tree are like Friday afternoon or Tuesday afternoon because they're restocking from the weekend and then Friday they're stocking for the weekend if that makes sense. So anyway, I did go to three stores just because I had time yesterday and I needed to like clear the bad mood away. I hope you enjoyed this video guys and I will see you soon for another one. Bye-bye.